welcome to Cards by Kendra. Today I'm collaborating with Sierra from Sierra T Designs to share some card making techniques using alcohol ink. We've had this collaboration planned a while now to celebrate when I hit 500 YouTube subscribers and I'm excited that we're finally able to share this with you today. Now Sierra is a very talented card maker and we've become great friends through social media. But I'll post a link to Sierra's video in the description box below so be sure to check out what she created once you're done watching this video. We're both also doing a giveaway on our channels, so make sure you stay tuned to find out how to enter to win. For my giveaway, one lucky commenter will win all of the card making supplies you see here. This includes a Distress Oxide ink and tumbled glass, a Distress ink and crackling campfire, the stencil from Picket Fence Studios, this set of stitch layered square dies, this cute little owl stamp, which is also from Picket Fence Studios, and then also this set of two bottles, these are two ounce bottles of Dilution's Shimmer Sprays, as well as this sentiment stamp set from Pink and Main. This has some sentiments and words that go along with hello and friend, and it also has some matching word dies that go with it. So they, they have the word and the shadow piece. And then also some sequins that you can use to make some shaker cards. And then this Christmas Stampin' Die Set by Stampendous. So to win this prize pack, answer the question that I ask later in this video in the comments below. And also make sure you are a subscriber to my channel. So let's get started. For this first card, I started with a sheet of Ranger 5x7 Upo paper. And I pulled out three different alcohol ink colors, but I only ended up using the two colors, Coral and Lemonade. I started by adding some alcohol ink blending solution to the Upo paper, and then a few drops of each color, and then I used my alcohol ink blower to move the colors around. And then I added a bit more yellow, and then spritzed on some 90% isopropyl alcohol, and then I kept repeating this process until I was happy with the results. Now I liked the dotted look from the spritzing of the alcohol just for something different rather than having the flowing colors like I normally do, but I filled in all of the white space with color and I just kind of keep, keep doing this until I'm happy with the finished results. Now while I'm doing this, I'll go ahead and ask the question that you'll need to answer in the comments below in order to enter the giveaway. I want you to tell me where you're from and what is your favorite card making supply that you cannot live without. Whether it be a favorite tool or if you like using um, specific coloring mediums or if it's something from mixed media, whatever it is, tell me something that you cannot live without. I gave this one final spritz with the alcohol and where the colors meet and the ink is on the Upo paper a little thick this will stay wet a little longer so this is how the gold foil is applied and it sticks to the Upo paper I had some small foil scraps left over from another project that I'm just laying on top of the parts that have pulled up ink that's still a little wet and I'm just rubbing it on using my bone folder it's not a lot of foil, but these little gold flecks that stick give it a nice little subtle, subtle shine. And I think that this is a really cool technique. This is the first time I've ever done this, and I was really surprised at how much interest it gave. Now, there are other inks that you can buy, um, like the alloys and the metallic inks. But this is just another way to add some shine to your alcohol ink projects if you don't have those. Now that the background is done, we can turn this into a card. I'm using these uh, dies by Pink Fresh Studios. This one says, you are awesome. And I'm cutting a piece of white 110 pound cardstock for my card base. And I'm also trimming down some black and gold foil cardstock. Um, I've taken the gold foil cardstock and used the stitched greenery background die by Stampin' Up. And I ran this through my Big Shot die cutting machine. And then I trimmed that down to four by five and a quarter inches. And I also took my alcohol ink background and I cut it in half to make that be three and a half by four and three quarters. So I'll actually be able to make two cards with this background. 
And then I also decided to make a frame around the gold piece. So I cut the black cardstock to four and one eighths of an inch by five and three eighths of an inch. And then next I took a piece of white cardstock and I added a sheet of Sizzix, uh, what's this called? Sizzix adhesive <laughs> to the back of it so that I could cut out the words several times and layer them up. And I cut out the You Are Awesome out of white twice and then I cut the shadow out of some black cardstock. Now I'm going to assemble the card. I'm gluing down all of the layers using my favorite liquid glue, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. This dries clear and it dries pretty fast, but it, it gives me just enough time to scoot the pieces and make sure that they're centered the way I want them. For the giveaway, you want to make sure that you comment by Thursday, July 22nd at midnight and I will select the winner on Friday, July 23rd and announce the winner here on my YouTube channel. I peeled off the backing of the word dies that I cut out earlier and because I cut out two, I went ahead and layered up the two white pieces and then I'm sticking them onto the shadow pieces here and then attaching the words down using that same liquid glue. Now to finish off this card, I added some little gold embellishments from Pink and Main. And because they're so tiny, I'm using my Art Glitter Glue because it has a fine tip applicator. I'm also using my new Sparkle Stick from Doodles Paper Playground on Etsy. This helps to apply sequins and any embellishments that you need to glue down. I had a lot of glue come out of my tip so I had to wipe that off there. Um, so you see me struggling a little bit with the glue because I had glue everywhere. But this is the finished card and I think it turned out really pretty. Now for the next card. I actually shared this video short a few weeks ago here on YouTube and on my Instagram reel showing how I made this background and added blue foil. The same way I did on the first card, I used Patina and Stream alcohol inks and also Tranquil and Celestial alcohol pearls. And I've sped this video up a lot. <laughs> and now I'll show you how I turn this background into two different cards. So I've cut the panel down to four by five and a quarter inches off camera. And I have these two sheets of matching 12 by 12 foil cardstock from Stampin' Up that I'm using to cut out these thin frames using the A2 Thin Frames die set from Simon Says Stamp. And then I'll be cutting out the words you are kind out of the teal color and the shadow pieces from the blue color foil. I used my art glitter glue with the fine tip to glue the word die cuts together. And I'm taking a piece of teal blue heavyweight cardstock and cutting it down to five and a quarter by eight and a half for my card base. I've scored it down the middle at four and a quarter. And then I'm assembling the card and gluing all of the pieces down. So to finish off the card, I end up adding some blue and teal rhinestone stickers. And I know I kind of went through this card really, really fast, but it's basically the same exact process as what we did with card number one. It's just I use a, a different colors and a couple of different dies on this. And I think this one turned out really pretty too. For card number three, I needed to make a birthday card for my granny who is turning 80 this year. So I decided to use up some of the scraps left over from that last card. I'm using the scrap strip of the alcohol background and the inside rectangle pieces that were cut from the middle of the thin frames. I will list all of the supplies I used for each card in the description box below if you're interested. I'll be cutting out all of these dies out of that center part of the blue rectangle piece and then of course the, the word happy out of the teal piece. And I used some dewdrop memento ink in teal color to stamp out the word birthday and the TH to go next to the numbers. 
and I also took a stencil and ink blended along the edges directly on the card base and then I assembled the card off camera and so this is the finished card and I think this one turned out really pretty as well so here are all three cards I made using two different alcohol ink backgrounds using that foil technique they were really easy to make and I think they turned out really 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 pretty so let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to answer the question that I mentioned earlier in order to be eligible to win the prize for the giveaway. Be sure to check out Sierra's video. I will link that in the description box below. You can also find additional card making inspiration on my Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest pages as well as TikTok. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video and I hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day.